think she guarded that point guard very well, and I thought she also stepped up and scored some big, big points for us tonight. Congratulations on a great effort. We're going to bring in Stephanie Blackman. And Stephanie, last year, because of a knee injury, you missed the NCAA tournament. When you step between the lines tonight, Stephanie, what was in your mind? Um, you know, one of my motivation for this year was the fact that I didn't get to play in the NCAAs last year. So, you know, tonight I wasn't happy with my performance yesterday. Tonight I just wanted to lay it all out there. I only had one more game to do that, so I had to do it tonight. Michigan State zone had proven too tough for a lot of quality basketball teams. You were able to get started early. What made you guys so successful against that zone? I think we're just, you know, we're such hard workers, and we're just going to try to find the gaps. You know, we turned it over a couple times early on, but just got to keep plugging away and find a way. Kim Mulkey Robertson becomes the first woman to win an NCAA title, first as a coach, now as a player. Tell us what she does for this basketball team. She doesn't accept anything but the best for her players. She's just Congratulations on a great Thank job, you. Stephanie. Mike Patrick. All right, thanks, Doris, for Doris Burke, Mark Jones, Ann Myers. This is Mike Patrick. Glad you enjoyed the tournament, the final score, 84-62. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Now let's go to Reese Davis. Reese. All right, Mike, so Baylor, your national champions. You saw Annie Christopher, who's Sophia Young's mother, enjoying this moment of, of championship joy and bliss for Baylor. This is a team we know the Sophia Young story from the West Indies. She's just learned the game for five years. Abiola Wabara was signed despite the fact the coaches had never seen her play basketball. Pieced together some kids from Texas with some toughness and belief in Kim Mulkey Robertson, and they're the national champions now. Beat three number one seeds along the way, Lisa. How did they just dismantle this number one seed in Michigan State? It was awesome, and it started with their defense. They did a really good job of playing defense and keeping Liz Schimmick out of the middle of the paint. They really shut down Kelly Roark inside. They shut down Michigan State's inside game, and their, all, their, their outside game was really solid. But I tell you, the, the play of Sophia Young, you can't say enough about her. Her and Stephanie Blackman, they had to show up, and they did it, Stacey. Lisa, it wasn't just awesome. It was totally awesome. It was unbelievable what Baylor did, not only in this game, but all through the season. You win the Big 12 regular season. You win the Big 12 tournament. They're fully equipped inside and out, and that was the difference. Emily Neiman was the difference. She set the tone for the whole game. And here in Indianapolis, Indianapolis Baylor becomes the first team since Texas Tech in 1993 to win a national championship, and reside west of the state of Indiana. Might be the greatest night in Baylor sports history. Some of the fans were talking about the 1948 season when the men went to the national title game, but they fell to Kentucky, the Lady Bears, to the national champions after beating Michigan State. Back with more after this.